Right. Time to ride a chocobo. Yeah, lock first. Although, I'll need to get lots of where it needs to be going. In order to save a lengthy trip. I go through all the trouble breeding this green chocobo? Well... I'll show you. This one can climb mountains! Allow me to access something that was blocked me before. A Materia Cave! Which contains... A Mine Materia! which allows you to copy whatever action someone else did previously. I'll probably figure this out off camera, how that works. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Time to pay Wu Tai a visit. As I've read all of the flyers for Turtles Paradise, or whatever this place is called. And there's a bonus if you do. Oh wait, I think there's one I've missed. Right. <sighs> Honestly, some people just can't cope with sobriety. Oh, it is called Turtle's Paradise. Right, time to talk to the owner. Multiple sources! Well, I'll definitely give the... I'll definitely give the luck source to Yuffie, as she is the ninja! That's one of the best things for her. Now's a drop lock off at the Chicago Ranch. Um Yeah, the only one I missed besides the one at Wu Tai was a flyer at the Ghost Hotel at the Gold Saucer. Yeah, I know. Can't believe I didn't get in the first visit. 
to watch the start of the Lock and Celes races, click here. Otherwise, keep watching. Right, after a few random battles, along with racing Lock and Celes, oh, and I release the ordinary Chocobo, says I want to make space for a few others. Yeah. You need to fight a few random battles before you can meet Chocobos after they've been hatched. Yeah. Need a blue and a green one. And what I get... ...is a black one. Right, let's call this one. Yeah, young. Right, before I feed some greens to young off camera. Time to head to North Corel. Is it North Corel? Yeah. I think that's the general area. No, it's... Well... It's on this continent, so that's for certain. There's one place I couldn't get to... ...until now. What do you guess if you cross a... ...green and a... ...blue chocobo? A black chocobo who can cross both mountains and rivers! Allowing me to get to this... ...Materia Cave. And what is this Materia? When am I gonna use that?! Anyway, I'll take it. Just drop this chocobo off and get the greens, feed the greens, and then race young. I think you know the pattern by now. Oh yeah, there's one more cave that... Yeah, here. As you can see, I need a chocobo that can cross oceans. And I don't have one yet. Click on the image in front of you to start watching the yarn races. Otherwise, keep watching. Right. There's one more chocobo that I haven't got yet. And the chocobo that I need is somewhere around here. After this random battle. Against something pathetic. Yes, sneak attack only increases the chance of attacking first. It doesn't guarantee it.
The main reason why I didn't get one earlier is because I didn't want... I didn't know what gender my black chocobo would be. Thankfully I have some Gisal Green Spur. Oh yeah, and one of me random battles unlocks the last limit break of Ketsif. However you want to pronounce them. So once I demonstrate that limit break, I will never use Kate Sif again. Right, time to see if this is the Chocobo I'm looking for. Then I will move along. <sighs> yeah, I know. There is at least one Star Wars reference in this. Please, let me get it right first time. Good. Just what I was looking for. Yeah, put this Jacobo in. Yeah, right gender as well. All I need to do is to... Yeah, you know what I need to do. That and race up to S-Class so that she is a viable breeding candidate. Yeah, don't expect a frying pan. To watch Sheila's races, click on the image in front of you. Otherwise, keep watching. Now for the end result of my breeding program. That Zero Nuts from Goblin Island. is essential for this. Oh yeah. And also did a few more random battles. And unlocked Vincent's third limit break. Yes! There's an achievement, so I'll assume they're successful. The Gold Chocobo! Yeah. For those who have at least heard of Final Fantasy for the After Years will know this reference. Right. Time to head to the nearest point to Round Island. And head there. Believe me, it will be well worth it.